Candice Jinmitsu Prover XL 4x4 truly cut a piece of material that is 4 feet by 4 feet. Today we're going to find out. I'm cutting out an end table and I'm using a 4 foot by 4 foot sheet of plywood to be able to do the project. Just to show you the exact measurement, I'm using the tape measure against the fence and it's exactly 4 feet to the saw blade. And then I'm going to take a full sheet of the plywood and cut it in half. I'm ready to cut the plywood now and I realized that I forgot to connect a hose to the dust collection. So we got to do that real quick and then we'll be ready to cut this sheet of plywood right in half. This dust collection really does help to be able to keep the dust down in the shop. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to turn the saw on and we'll get this sheet cut in half. Now I can cut this sheet in half because I have the outfeed table set up to be able to support the plywood. Since the majority of the time I work in my shop by myself, it's important to be able to have the outfeed tables set up so that I can cut the full sheets of plywood. It would be a real problem if I had to stop every time to find help to be able to support the plywood. With the outfeed tables, that part's not necessary, and I can easily cut these full sheets of the 4x8 plywood. Since I'm cutting all the way through the material, and I don't want to damage the wasteboard, I'm going to use a half inch foam material as an auxiliary wasteboard. And I'm just using scrap pieces. They're just laying on the wasteboard. I do not need to glue them down. The clamps will hold everything together just fine. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that on a lot of the projects, I'll use the glue and tape method to be able to hold it down. But in this case, these little individual pieces of the foam work just fine. We're using the clamps to be able to hold everything in place. These pieces such as this work perfect. One, they're easy to store. Two, they're varying in sizes so I can use different pieces for different size projects. And the wasteboard is completely protected. I do not have to worry about any type of damage to this wasteboard. I'm only using four clamps. Two clamps on the front and two clamps on the back. And yes, I did take a look to see exactly where I could place the clamps to make sure that they were out of the way. Now this 4x4 four four sheet of plywood actually has room to spare. I could actually make the project just a little bit bigger. I have made quite a few projects using this Jimitsu machine, but this is the largest by far using a full 4 foot by 4 foot sheet of plywood. If I had to cut this same project out on a smaller machine, I'd be cutting out each individual piece one at a time, or maybe not at all. Well, it's time to probe the machine. So I'm setting this up to be able to probe. Now that that's done, I'll move this over using the Open Builds controller and load the G-code. And this is how it's going to look cutting out. I can now ready to run job and we can start getting this whole project cut out. So the first thing it's going to do is cut the inside of the material and then it'll move to the outside. I always do all of the inside cuts first and then I'll move to do the cutouts on a project such as this. Now this is very similar to cutting cabinets. This just happens to be an end table that I'm uh, cutting out using this machine today. This opening actually is going to be for a drawer that's going to go into the front of the uh, end table. So here's a look at the interior opening cut and you can see it cuts all the way through down to the foam and you can also see the tabs. Now I'm using a 3D tab so they're quite a bit smaller and they're easy to cut out but it holds this piece just fine. The next step was to cut the holes for the lamp. Yeah, I'm going to do a built-in lamp and I have the 3 8 hole cut all the way through and then I have a wider, larger hole that just cut down 0.2 of an inch to be able to have the washer and the wing nut go on. At this point, that's all of the interior cuts that I have, and it's ready now to continue to cut the outside of this end table. So the front piece is going to be cut. Now I'm doing this in three passes. I could do this probably in two passes, but I'm really not in a hurry, and I wanted just to be able to take my time to being able to cut this project out. But by no means do you have to run this machine at 100 inches per minute. You could step this up and run it quite a bit faster, 
and you could increase the depth per pass and get rid of the three and do this in probably two passes. Now I'm using a quarter inch end mill to be able to do this cutout of this project. I used the Vetrix VCAR Pro to be able to design this end table. I also set this up with four different tool paths. The first tool path was to be able to cut that inside cutout for that drawer. And then the second tool pass was to be able to cut the hole all the way through, which was the 3 8 inch diameter. And the third tool path was to be able to cut the pocket for that washer. And the final tool path, which is the number four tool path, was to be able to cut on the outside of the uh, project to be able to cut the project out itself. Now, since I'm using the same bit to be able to cut all of these different tool paths, I could actually save all of these at one time and the machine itself will just step through one, two, three, and four of the tool paths and cut them. There's no need to stop. There's no need to change anything. Using the VCAR Pro along with the open build controller, it will cut all four tool paths in sequence to be able to do this project. You can also see that cutting this material out, the four clamps work just fine. The other thing I want to point out, I am using the dust collection and there is virtually no sawdust at all. So it is a very effective system. Now in the future, I am going to be building a boom to be able to hold the hose up above the CNC machine. But for right now, I'm just literally using a old coat hanger hooked on the ceiling with the hose attached to that. It works, but it's certainly not pretty. With all the projects that I have done on this machine, I must say I'm very impressed with the Jinmitsu Prover XL 4x4. And this project, actually cutting out an end table all at one time with a four foot by four foot sheet of plywood is absolutely amazing. And the best part about it, it is really a time saver. If I think about having to cut this same project out on one of my small CNC machines, it would take a tremendous amount of time to be able to stop and start and set up each piece individually. And the other consideration on a smaller machine is that you'd have to design the piece to be able to accommodate the smaller machine. So you can actually see that this Jimitsu Prover XL 4x4 truly can cut a four foot by four foot project all at one time. And I am very, very happy that I have this machine in the shop to be able to make the furniture. I actually have quite a few ideas for some future projects where I'm going to be making some additional furniture and this is the machine that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to take these four clamps off now and get this project off of the CNC machine. It will take just a little bit of sanding but you can see that it did cut a very, very clean cut. Well, if you ever had any doubts that this machine could cut the 4x4 sheet of plywood, well, here's proof. This has done an excellent job of cutting this 4 foot by 4 foot sheet of plywood to be able to get this project done all in one operation. I'm going to take the individual foam pieces, stack them all together because they'll be easy to store this way, and I'll be ready for the next project. I like using these pieces like this because I can pick the size of the foam that I need for the size of the project and put it underneath and then use the clamps. So this is a perfect solution to be able to have for this machine. And what did the pieces look like? Well, it actually came out quite clean. I used the 3D tabs in the Vetrix software and that makes for a very small tab that's easy to be able to cut away. And I only used two and it still held very well. I'm very happy with that. I know a lot of you would probably use four tabs and certainly you could do that, but I found that two works just fine. And these are easy to cut away with the utility knife. And with again, with the utility knife, the remains just easily clean up. This is the first time that I've used the 3D tabs and basically it's in the shape of a little small triangle. And I really like it and I think I'm going to be using this a lot more in the future because it's so much easier to be able to clean up and be able to, uh, to work with. And it's a lot easier than the traditional tab that you find in the uh, Vetrix software. 
So here's a close-up of that little tab and how easy it is to be able to remove. This actually is a lot easier to remove than the traditional tab. As far as the rest of the cleanup, just a little bit of sanding is all that's going to be necessary. Well, to answer the original question, can the Jinmitsu Pruger XL 4x4 truly cut the 4x4 sheet of plywood? Yes, it can. So take a look at these other videos that I have listed right up here on the top side of the screen for some additional furniture and cabinet builds. And I look forward to seeing it in the next video.